Hello, it's Salamik. In today's video, we're gonna check front suspension of my 2017 Toyota Camry. So let's go for a ride and see how it sounds. There's a speed bump up ahead, so I'm not gonna slow down so you guys hear how it sounds. Alright, we are back home, we're gonna jack up the car and put it on a jack stand and I'm gonna show you a few ways to check the front suspension. So if you know where to put the jack stands, you can always check. Like here is the thin metal sheet and here is the frame, strongest part of the body. So here is where we're gonna place the jack stands. Okay, the car safety on a jack stand. So let me show you the first way of checking front suspension. So the first way, grab the wheel from right and left and try to wiggle it, feeling any play. This is normal sound when you're rotating the wheel, it's differential sound, but side to side, nothing. But if you feel any play side to side, tie rod is damaged or the rock end. Next checking, grab the wheel from top and bottom and try to wiggle it, nothing. If there is a play, lower ball joint damaged or the strut mount. You can also check the strut mount like that with a socket extender or a breaker bar. If you feel any play, strut mount has to be replaced. Alright, let's remove the wheels. If you don't have impact gun, loosen the lug nuts when the wheel on the ground before jacking up the car. After removing the wheel, always place the wheel under the car for extra safety. There is only one thing left to check and that is sway bar link. Sway bar link connected to sway bar which it will balance the car around the turn and not letting it roll to one side. And sway bar shouldn't be playing like that. So we're gonna need a 90mm and a 70mm. The nut too tight and there is no enough room. So I'm gonna steer the wheel and use socket and extender to give me more leverage. Now I'm gonna use the 90mm to hold it not letting it spin while loosening 70mm nut. Otherwise it will keep spinning not getting loose. For the lower sway bar link nut. It's close to the floor and I can use breaker bar. I can use extender, but for this one, I'm gonna show you old school way. All right, sway bar link is out. It shouldn't be playing freely like that. If you compare it with the new one, it's not easy for moving and that's how it should be. This is not OEM. The OEM ones are aluminum, but the aftermarkets are metal. Here's a 3D printed ball joint for explanation. How the ball joint wear out over time and make the sound on suspension. It should be tight fit and not moving freely like that. Alright, let's install new sway bar link on a car. Hand tightening upper nut first and then the lower one. And then we're gonna torque 70mm nut to 55 pound feet of torque. Okay, we are done with the passenger side. Let's turn the steering wheel straight and put the wheel on the car. Replacing sway bar links is one of the easy jobs that you can do at home with a cam and hand tool without spending too much cash. I also replaced the driver's side sway bar link the fast way which I used impact gun which will make the job much easier and much faster. But I know not everyone owning tools like that so that's why I showed the cam and hand tools method first. Alright we are done with the driver's side and the passenger side. Let's jack up the car and remove the jack stand and then lower the car. And now we can torque the wheel lug nuts to 76 pound feet of torque. And that is how to check suspension on your car and replace sway bar link. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.